In the town of Engai are two families, the Gese and the Gay. Musa Mokhtar and Mamadou are heirs to a craft passed from father to sons. For a hundred years, the Gay family were the only ones making leather sandals in Senegal, until the Gesi started competing with them. Each have their technique, their secrets, in making what they call the perfect sandal. We don't like to talk about our shoes. Those who wear them know what exactly our hundred-year-old craftsmanship is about. For the Gesi family, a comfortable sandal requires mathematical precision. Part of our secret is that we use local leather for the sole and the heel of the shoe. That's what makes our sandals special. It is during the Muslim celebration of Eid that people come from as far as neighboring countries in search for the perfect fit, purchasing the products made by the competing families. Part of our secret is that we use local leather for the sole and heel of the shoe. That's what makes our sandals so special. Chinese manufactured imitations are sold for cheaper and have flooded the market. They could have driven the families out of business, except people continue to buy their leather products, even helping them to keep production costs low. Because their biggest challenge is to keep a steady supply of leather. Often, they have to import it from Italy or Spain, but not during the yearly Muslim festival of Eid, also known as Tabaski. Sheep and goats across the country are sacrificed during the Muslim celebrations. Some of the animal skins are donated to the town which supplies the shoemakers. And so for a brief moment, family rivalries are put aside and the abundant leather is shared. This allows them to keep the prices of their shoes competitive against Chinese sandals, a common fight for both families. It has to feel and look right for the religious celebration. Everybody is willing to spend a bit extra to own the original sandal. Even during Eid, both the Gese and the Gay continue to work, maintaining what they call a friendly rivalry in perfecting a century-old tradition. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, and Guy, Senegal.